The overall goal of the following experiment is to interrogate trimeric HIV-1 envelope glycoproteins, or ENV, conformation with monoclonal antibodies. This is achieved by first transfecting adherent cells to express trimeric HIV-1 ENV proteins at the cell surface. As a second step, the cells are incubated with anti-ENV monoclonal antibodies which will bind ENV depending on epitope exposure. Next, an HRP-conjugated secondary antibody is added in order to quantify antibody interaction by a chemiluminescence assay. Results are obtained that show relative levels of ENV-bound antibodies based on the relative light units acquired for each well. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as fax-based staining, is that this technique can be done with low amount of antibodies and at high throughput. Jonathan Richard, a postdoc in the lab, will be performing this technique. Human osteosarcoma cells are used in this experiment. One day prior to transfection, plate 2 times 10 to the 4th cells per well in an opaque 96 well cell culture plate suitable for luminescence reading. Use Delbeco's modified eagle medium supplemented with fetal bovine serum and penicillin streptomycin. Incubate the cells overnight at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. On the following day, prepare the transfection mixture. First, set out two tubes, tube A and tube B. To tube A, add 5 microliters of DMEM, supplemented with 25 millimolar HEPIs, followed by 10 nanograms of TAT encoding plasmid and 150 nanograms of trimeric HIV-1 envelope glycoprotein encoding.